of how to create a compass. I know there's many versions on the web already using the microbit, but we are going to be using it based on getting into a little bit more detail for the book, The Wild Robot Escapes. And the goal here is to help students understand um, and work on their reading standards for informational text in fourth grade and helping just bring the connection to Roz in the book, a robot that tries to escape and work on a farm. And so we talk a lot about how the robots um, have built-in sensors and mechanisms to always know where they are in relation to the world. <clears throat> so we're going to be creating a compass using microbits to apply what we've been reading in the book um, and adding some physical computing and coding. So we're going to be dealing with the... Uh, magnetometer and then we've got some other things in here that we're going to be dealing with as well and so for the sake of this particular project i want to kind of walk through all of it so it's not just here's a quick little way out of code but actually understanding the reasons behind the code and so what we're going to be doing is focusing on the four cardinal directions that we've provided students with these degrees or these trigger points so a north is going to range from 20 degrees to 340. we've basically gone 20 degrees on each side of the main four cardinal directions, but a 40 degree leeway in there. And so this is what we're going to be using as our base. And so let's jump over into the code um, and explain how this code works um, for this particular project. All you're going to need is the micro bit. You're not going to need anything else, which makes this one um, nice and easy. So I'm just going to drag this on start block. We're just going to delete that for now um, because we don't need it and what we're actually going to do is as we work through here um, we are going to start by creating some logic blocks and we're going to do that all built within our if else statements and so I'm going to drop down here to our logic and I'm going to drag this if then block over just like you see I'm gonna click this little gear here and because I know we're gonna do four cardinal directions I know that I'm gonna need three more of these because we're gonna be making four decisions basically and so basically we're gonna start this if we DC true or for north south east and west and so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drop in another logic block that's in here and the one we're gonna do is we're gonna use right. this is this and block and then in there this equal block and now the compass heading so this was found in logic so just to do that again here because i know I, I went fast we're going to add this and block here so we're going to be comparing two different variables and then in there we're going to add another logic block because we need to make some decisions so we're going to put this equal sign guy in there and then we went into our input and we dragged over the compass heading like so and we're actually going to do the exact same thing over here in this logic and so for the sake of this demo I'm just going to drag this right up here and I don't need that so what we're going to be doing here is comparing this compass heading reading and this compass heading reading and if both statements are true then we're going to import or we're going to output I should say an integer in this case we're gonna do north so if I pop back over to the site that we're using here and I swing this over all right and we look at our table here for north let's just focus on north for this first one we got 20 to 340 degrees so north is gonna be a little bit different so if we put here uh, that we want this at 340 okay and we know that this needs to be greater than from 340 up to 360 so we're going to use a greater than or equal sign and then over here we know we wanted 20 degrees but this is going to have to be 20 degrees or less because we want from 0 to this now in this particular case this can't be and North is kind of a tricky one because we're dealing with the 360 degrees here. So we're going to, have to switch this to OR. It's either the compass reading is 340 to 360 or 0 to 20. And if either one of those prove true, then we're going to display the north. Okay. So the way that we explain this, the way that we do this is we use this table here, this truth table. 
that I've developed for the kids to kind of look at. And so what we're doing is we're looking at our A and B outputs. And in this case, the left-hand side, this one here is our A, and this over here is our B. Okay, so as we look at this, if A and B are false, okay, then we know the output is going to be false if A and B are false. If A or B, okay, is also false. So we can see here that if, say, the, the degree was less than 340 degrees, so that's going to read false, but it's 10 degrees, so it's falling between the 0 and the 20 degrees as we have inputted here, then that's going to be true. So we know that A and B is false, but we want this here, this A or B, to be true. So then that's going to trigger out this output right there. So we teach kids how to think through this table as they think about their code because we're going to provide them some challenges in which we're not going to provide the answers. And so they can use this as a model to kind of think through their thinking. So now that we have this, let's go ahead and we're just going to copy and we're going to paste this down and we're just going to use the same thing for the other four directions right but we just have to go through and we have to change the degrees and so this is a pretty simple code when you start to think about it so now we have here um, if we want say 70 degrees and this time it's actually going to be and because the rest of these are all going to be and statements because we're not dealing with that change over from the 360 to 0 so we'll go from 70, and then we have 110, and then this, if you remember from the table, then it's going to be, or if you just know your cardinal directions, it's going to be east, so anything from 70 degrees to 110, greater than 70, less than 110. Then we've got um, here, the 160 to 190, Anybody guess what that's going to be? Anyone, anyone, anyone? You're right. You guys are so smart. It is south. And then the last one here, we're going to have from 250 down to 290. And then that is going to be west. So we've got everything covered here for our four major cardinal directions and that's what's going to input on the micro bit as we see now you can look at our default over here the simulator can't actually change degrees so it's always stuck at 90 degrees but you can see that it's working because we have this compass heading it's greater or equal to 70 and it's less than 110 so therefore it's displaying east and that is the, the the challenge I mean there is the compass and so when you download this you will see that your cup compass will ask you to calibrate so you'll move it in a circle just like you would do with the compass app on your phone and then as you move around it's going to show you north east south or west when it hits these degree points so the challenge that we have for you um, once you kind of learn how this works is we've added some pretty cool challenges down here um, for you to kind of explore and I would love for you to leave comments and share your projects and anything else but can you create a cool case for your compass using cardboard and duct tape or your laser cutter or 3D printer, whatever you have? Can you really create a cool looking compass? Um, can you replace north, south, east, west with symbols that represent directions? For example, the star could represent the north or reflect the north star. Could you create a geocache game? This can require a little bit more coding on your part, but that'd be pretty cool. And the other thing we have is, could you go through now on your own and add the intermediate directions, the northeast, northwest, southeast, and southwest? So this is just to help you get some programming and thinking and using this truth table and, and learning logic and all that good stuff. So guys, I hope you found this helpful. If you need any more guidance, please check the show notes for the link to the website, in which we've got steps by steps and a lot of cool animations and more explanations to help you. And uh, let me know what you think, guys. This is just the start of some more coding to empower kids and empower people to work on their thinking or critical thinking, collaboration, and communication. All right, guys, stay awesome. And this is another coffee jug project, the coffee jug compass for the wild robot escapes.